the first question that BJ asks, and this is a good question though. He says, are Abraham and Sarah really half brothers? What do you guys think? Do you all, do you all, you've heard it said Abraham and Sarah, that, that's really, Abraham tells a story twice because he's afraid. The one who is the father of our faith, he got afraid. He, he lacked faith. And in one particular case with uh, Abimelech, he says, tell them that you are my sister. Well, let's go to that passage and let's and let's see if we can gain some truth because it's kind of been a, uh, a mystery. Now, does this conclusively decide what I'm going to show you? No, you can, if you feel like that he's still her sister or you feel like he's not her sister, it doesn't matter. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Um, but I just want to show you how, at least my way of thinking. Let's go to Genesis 20. Abimelech makes a statement. He says, or he's making a statement to her, remember, Abraham's getting ready to get Abimelech jammed up by God. Abraham said, because I thought surely there is no fear of God in this place and they will kill me because of my wife. Because remember, Sarah, even or Sarai, even though she's older, she's a knockout, she's gorgeous, uh, she could win Miss America or in this case, um, Miss, Miss Desert. So he says to her, because I was afraid, that's why I said that. Besides, look what, look what Abraham says. Besides, she actually is my sister, the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. Well, what does that mean? When he says she actually, actually, now this is this is honest Abe here. <laughs> this is honest Abe here, and he says, actually, she is my sister. So is that does that mean that she's his sister, his his whole sister, or she is half sister? Because he says, she is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. And she became my wife. Well, what does that mean, the daughter of my father, but not my mother? Well, it can be taken two ways. There's two uh, appropriate ways to look at this. Either one, she's a half-sister, or there's another way to look at it. And this is also um, preferable as well. When you say someone is um, a daughter, it doesn't necessarily mean that, they're, that, that, that that's their birth child. It could mean that she is part of the lineage, and because he's older, she's his daughter. Okay, so those are the only two ways you can take that. Two ways and two ways only. Well, which one is it, and can we glean something from other passages? Well, yeah, there's one passage we can look at to see that she's probably, I don't take that that, that Sarah is his half-sister. I take that she is a relative of their family, but not a half-sister. Here's why. Let's go to Genesis 11. Let's go to, let's start in verse 28. Haran died in the presence of his father, Terah, in the land of his birth, in Ur of the Chaldeans. Abram and Nahor took wives from themselves. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah, the daughter of Haran. The father of Milcah is Ishka, and Sarai was barren. She had no child. Now look at uh, verse 31. Terah took Abram, his son. So who is Abram's son? Who's Abraham's father? Terah. And Lot, the son of Haran, his grandson, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son, Abraham's wife, or Abram's wife. So now, if that's his daughter, if that, remember, let's go back to verse, let's go back to Genesis 20, 12. Besides, she's actually the daughter of my father. But wait a second. That's not what it says here. It's called her daughter-in-law. So it would seem that when he says the daughter of my father, Abram is still trying to kind of clean it up. Well, I didn't really lie technically, you know, she's our, no. I don't think that she was actually his his uh, his sister, not even his half-sister. I think that she was part of the family, part of the lineage, and that was it. 